silent scan. Hi, this is the ninth episode of the Grade 9 Physics series of the Knowledge Catalog. In this episode, we are still working on the following learning competency relate impulse and momentum to collision of objects such as vehicular collision. You need to have a copy of the 7E based self learning module and you need to open it in Unit 4, Book 19, pages 9 to 13. The following are the parts of this session. The first part is gather information sections, sample problems numbers 1 and 2 solving for the velocity of a body. And then the second part is going to be under gather information section, still a problem solving activity, solving for the mass of a body. And then the last part is still from the same section, gather information, activity number 64, project Skyfall. For the first part, we will be uh, giving you, I will be giving you uh, two sample problems uh, which uh, we will be solving together. Okay, so if you notice, uh, sample problems uh, are coming uh, before the actual problem-solving activity. Okay, so um, pay attention, pay close attention to the steps that we are, go we are going to take in solving the following problem. Let's take it for the first one. Sample problem number one. Calculate for the momentum of a baseball ball that has a mass of 0 0.2 kilograms while it moves with a velocity of 30 meters per second along a plane ground to the right. Okay, so plane ground, so that's a flat ground towards the right. That's why um, the velocity is positive. Remember that the uh, horizontal, the horiz horizontal uh, x-axis uh, has designated the, its uh, rightward direction to be positive and its leftward direction to be negative. So we have the following givens. The first given is the mass. So we, we see it here. The mass of the uh, body is 0 0.2 kilograms. There is no need for us to convert that. And then uh, why? Because it's already in kilograms. And then for velocity, we have here given to be uh, 30 meters per second to the right. So it stays positive and uh, there's no need to convert uh, meters per second now. For mass, uh, problems about momentum, we are more often than not looking for kilograms. Okay, kapag mass, tapos momentum ang pinag-usapan natin, let us uh, just uh, convert them into kilograms for uniformity. And then for the um, velocity, uh, we, are going to, we are always going to look for meters per second. If this is in kilometers per hour, you have to convert it first into meters per second. Is that clear? Okay. Now, uh, what is unknown is the, mom the momentum. Okay, so it's quite obvious here. Okay, so again, uh, we're going to uh, look for momentum. I know uh, we put here solving for the velocity of a body, but let's see in the next problem. Okay, so uh, the uh, formula, as it was stated in the previous uh, session, is equal is uh, momentum is equal to mass multiplied by velocity. So this is going to be quite simple. All right, so uh, we are just going to substitute the givens, which is 0 0.2 kilograms multiplied by 30 meters per second, and we will be getting 6 kilogram meters per second towards the right. That is the momentum of the body. Yeah, so uh, would you like to try it on your own calculators? Go ahead. Okay, so uh, what you need to do is to box this final answer. Now let us move on to sample problem number two. Randall rolled a 0 0.7 kilogram ball to the right with a momentum of 1.4 kilogram meters per second. Now, what is the velocity of the ball? Um, we are not going to use the base form of the, of the formula. Okay, that's a warning. And also, uh, the reason for, for that is uh, we're not looking for momentum. We're looking for velocity. The givens are the following. Mass is 0 0.7 kilogram. So, sinabi natin kanina. If it's already in kilograms, there is no need for us to convert this. And then uh, for the uh, momentum, we have 1.4 kilograms meters per second. So kilogram matches kilogram, and then uh, meters per second. That but you mahan up natin yung makuha natin for velocity, and it's towards the right. So that means this momentum stays positive. Alright, let's, let's go to the solution. Alright, so the base form of the formula is is the following. So momentum is equal to mass multiplied by velocity. Now, but uh, we cannot use this because uh, this form uh, tends to look, I know, okay, pwede na magamitin ito like as it is and then carry out the uh, operations as they are. But 
since we are starting pa lang, okay, let us uh, do it the long way. Try natin kung mapapollow natin siya. Okay, so what you need to do first is derive a formula that looks for velocity. So what do, you, what do we need to do? Okay, so we need to uh, divide both sides of the equation by mass. Okay, there is no, uh, we are not going to use the term transposition. Okay? What we will be doing is uh, is uh, either division, addition, subtraction, or multiplication of uh, both sides. So in this case, we'll be dividing both sides by mass. Uh, division, dividing both sides by mass, will be canceling mass on the right side, and then it will retain mass on the other one. Okay, so ang matitira na lang sa right side natin is velocity, and then matitira na lang dun sa isang side naman, uh, ang momentum, divided by mass. Okay, so... This is the formula we're looking for. Okay, so kapag nakuha na natin formula na to, that is the time when we can substitute the given. So 1.4 kilogram meters per second, which is the momentum, is going to be divided by 0 0.7 kilograms, which is the mass of the body. And uh, by doing that, we will be getting the velocity. Okay, so uh, take note that kilogram uh, is found on the numerator and it is also found in the denominator. So since there are like terms, uh, we will be canceling them out just like we canceled uh, the mass on the numerator and in the, de in the denominator of uh, this side of the equation a while ago. Okay, we'll be canceling kilograms here. So, matitira yung meters per second. Now, uh, checkpoint. Uh, since meters per second yung matitira, are we on the right track? Yes. Okay, so velocity is supposed to have the that uh, unit, meters per second. Okay, hey, divide it. And we will be getting 2 meters per second to the right. Yeah. So uh, towards the right, it stays positive. You have to box this final answer on your uh, when you do your own when you solve your own problems. Um, and speaking of solving your own problems, let us now move on to the second part of this session. Uh, solve for the following uh, for the missing factors. So the problem goes like: On the road to Baguio City, there were two vehicles. One is a car, and the other is a truck. Uh, they have the following information. So the car has this uh, V, uh, that stands for velocity. So both of them and the truck, they both have, they both are moving 20 meters per second. However, the car has a momentum of 30,000 kilograms meters per second, whereas the truck has that has the momentum of 100,000 uh, kilograms meters per second. So magkaiba sila sa momentum, right? Now, uh, what are the masses of the car and the truck? You have to show the, your solution inside uh, your, your boxes. So you have to box your final answers too. Okay, so uh, do this on your uh, science uh, notebooks. Okay, label them, gather information, problem solving, solving for the mass of a body. Uh, if you are using an extra sheet of a clean paper, a clean sheet of paper, not your science notebooks, make sure that you still label your work properly. Okay, so as soon as you're done, you can continue this video. <clears throat> okay, so um, I think now uh, we can now uh, look at the correct answers. Okay, so in our synchronous sessions, uh, we will be uh, discussing uh, the solution. We will be discussing the solution. But for now, I'll only be showing you the correct answers for the sake of checking your own work. Okay? Okay, so the answers are the following. The mass of the car is 1,500 kilograms, and then the mass of the truck is 5,000 kilograms. Okay, so that ends the second part of our session. Did you get the, did the, correct, the correct, did you find the correct answer? Okay, all right, so let's now move to the last uh, part, which is activity number, gather information, activity 64, project Skyfall. Um, this, Activity has the following objectives. The first one is, uh, for by the end of this activity, you should be able to explain uh, different factors affecting momentum. And uh, in our previous sessions, we have already discussed uh, mass and velocity to be factors affecting momentum. And the second objective is for you to be able to appreciate the concept of impulse and momentum in minimizing destructive impacts and collisions. So uh, we have several materials uh, listed here. Um, you have to perhaps take, take some time pa to collect them. So paper, pencil, 20 pieces of straw, a smartphone, uh, although that is just optional, and then uh, raw chicken eggs, meter string, pair of scissors, ice plastic bag, one newspaper page, 
one ma a meter masking tape and then a foot rule. For the quantity of the raw chicken eggs, it depends on um, kung ano, kung atawag doon, kung gano'n ka careful kasi baka di mo pa nagagawa yung activity na basag mo na siya. So it's really important that you keep your uh, ch the chicken eggs uh, safe uh, right before uh, that actual uh, point in the activity when you're supposed to do something about them. Okay? Okay. So for the first step, uh, the goal of this activity is for you, for you, for you actually, for you to design a device that will keep the egg safe when it is dropped from a height of 3 meters. Yun yung goal. Kailangan safe yung egg kapag na-drop siya from a height of 3 meters. Kailangan may device kang ilalagay sa kanya, i-attach sa kanya para maging safe siya. Now, you can only use the materials indicated in the list. The paper and the pencil are to be used exclusively for writing purposes only. Uh, yung paper and the pencil para lang sa pasusulat daw talaga yun. In recording your data. Now, you can test your design by trying them out. If your resources are used up or if the, or if the egg breaks, you have to refill your supplies but make sure that you only get and use exact amount of each supply. Nothing more, nothing less. So, yung mga nilagay natin na quantity ng materials kanina, that is good for one trial. Okay? Eh, kung magsa-second trial kayo, um, ka, kailangan mong i-refill mo na yon tapos gamitin lang yun para sa isang trial. Okay? Uh, you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to create two devices out of those materials. You can only, you're only supposed to use one device, eh, you're only supposed to uh, use them for creating, in creating one device. Okay, so for step number two, once your device is ready or your design is ready, seek a place near you where you can drop it on a height of three meters. You can look for an elevated area with a safe way for you to drop your device with the egg, such as look for your community stage or kung meron kayong basketball area that is nearby and it's without a lot of people. So you can go up the stage and drop the device with the egg, or you can simply look for an elevated uh, uh, part of your part of the ano uh, part of your community or your house, and then um, you know you may reach me in three meters. <laughs> okay, All right. so um, now for step number three, you have to drop the egg the first time. Um, record your observations inside the box, then run it again. Keep on trying until the egg shows signs of shell crevices or until you have done it the fifth time. So, ano ba, sa first trial mo, nag-break na yung egg. So, that concludes your trial for that device. It means it does not work. Okay? So, yun dun sa second trial mo, o oh, halimbawa, um, o oh, halimbawa lang, uh, the, the first trial, hindi nag-break yung egg mo, nagkaroon lang siya ng counting crack, o oh, lagay mo lang yun, tapos itry mo siya ulit the second time. Hanggang sa magkaroon siya ng ano, cracks talaga or mabasag talaga siya. Or until you reach the fifth uh, spot. Okay, tapos di pa rin siya na. Pag fifth na yung ano mo, I mean for the fifth time, you drop the egg and then wala pa rin, di pa rin siya nagbe-break. Okay, that means uh, you have to conclude it na. Okay, tapos na yung observations mo for the trials. Okay, now, uh, put one egg inside the plastic bag and then you have to drop it uh, with the same height. So that's three meters. You have to uh, record your observation inside the box. So, uh, lagay mo lang yung egg sa loob ng isang plastic bag. Tapos, i-drop mo siya. So, actually, even without doing it, you know fairly well what's going to happen, right? Okay. So, you have to record your observation inside the box. Right, so, one, uh, this is for the device. This is where you record your observations for the device. The egg with the device. And then, this is where you record your observations for the uh, egg inside the plastic bag. Now, for step number five, you have to answer the following guide questions. The first guide question is as follows. Which features of your designs do you think is the most important in keeping the egg's shell from breaking? Explain why. Question number two, how will you describe the momentum of your falling device with the egg? All right, so was it high or low? What was the difference between letting the egg fall without the device and letting it fall with the device? It is now time for us to check uh, your work. Okay, these are the answers. Uh, for the first question, your answers may vary. Okay lang. 
Okay, but uh, you have to emphasize here uh, what key features of your device uh, work really best for you. Like, did you put some sort of a basket? Was there, was there a parachute? Meron bang shock absorber? Okay, so which among uh, those possible features uh, saved your egg from breaking? The eggshell from breaking. Okay, so question number two naman, the momentum of the egg with the falling device is uh, lower compared to the momentum of the egg without the falling device. So uh, in question number two, we are assuming actually that uh, you know what to do uh, in the activity. Okay, so the, what you, whatever device you will create, you are supposed to lessen the velocity to uh, contradict the pull of gravity and take advantage of the uh, air around uh, to, uh, no, to slow down the velocity. So since the egg without the falling device dropped with a higher velocity kasi mabilis pa siyang nag-drop, walang kumukontra dun sa pagpo-fall niya, it has a higher momentum as well. Ayan. So uh, that concludes our session, session number 9. So uh, we were able to finish the following parts and I hope that uh, you were able to keep your records and organize your data because you need to post them in Edmodo. Remember that, okay, for my review. All right, this is still Sir CJ and I hope that I will be seeing you in the next episode of Grade 9 Physics of the Knowledge Catalog. Have a good day.